So here we are at SJ Cook having what's probably going to be the last look at this car. What I've always tried to do on this channel is to save people money and help them avoid making the mistakes I made and I made a big mistake when it came to insuring this car. Um, for those of you who don't know, this car was involved in a burglary. The secure storage unit where it was kept was broken into and this car was used as a getaway car to take away all the tools that they stole. Not my tools, but um, the first point was it wasn't normally garaged at that unit. It's normally garaged at my home address. But thankfully, the insurance company accepted that that postcode was um, a valid postcode, which is good news. The not so good news is that when you come to insure a car, and this car is on a classic car fleet policy with Footman James, when you come to insure your car, the, all the policies with Footman James have something called salvage retention, which means that you have the opportunity to retain the car if you want to. However, there is something called zero premium salvage retention or nil premium salvage retention i should say and what nil premium salvage retention is is you pay an extra 15 pounds a year and if your car is written off which this car has been written off you get to keep the car now unfortunately i wasn't aware of that and i didn't pay that 15 pounds so i don't get to keep this car i could keep this car if i wanted to but I don't think it's going to be worth my while to do so because the um, reduction in the payout would be some 42%, which in the case of this car is nine or ten thousand pounds that I would have to pay to buy the car back in this condition. And although I think this car is easily fixable, you know, we're talking about new lights, new bumpers, radiator, bonnet, wings, etc. Although I think it's fixable. I don't have the time to do it and if I did have the time to do it I would end up with a car that's basically worth what it was before with a category S which is a um, sort of structural damage category on it and I don't want to do that because I'm not short of SLs I'm doing another project at the moment and I've got another 280 manual SL as well if this was my only car this was the only car I had in the world then I would consider it but it's not the only car I've got this would make an absolutely perfect project for somebody who you know wants to buy a car that isn't rusted and isn't rotted out and has had an enormous amount of work done if I just walk you around this car I mean if you followed this channel you'll know this but this car's got new tires on it it's got fond metal wheels, which you may or may not like, but these wheels are probably about £2,000 worth of wheels. The people who stole the car, they did manage to just scuff one of the wheels here, but that's not a, that's not a major thing. The rear of this car is absolutely fine. All the bumper chromes are fine. The rubbers are fine. The lights have all been refurbished. The boots, everything like that is fine. The hood on this car is fine. You'll notice that this is a very rare, or not very rare, but quite rare, five-speed manual. That piece of central trim there, it's about 400 pounds worth of trim. The interior has all been done. It does have a few issues, this interior. One of the things I was going to do is actually redo the seats properly, but that's not a major issue. All the chrome is fine there's one piece missing there all the trims are fine on this car the engine runs beautifully at least it, at least it did run beautifully on this car and so i suspect there's lots of coolant here so i suspect that that hose there has become detached and that's where all the coolant has gone the fan is touching the radiator at the moment so i suspect looking at that you're going to need a new radiator. This structural piece here is going to need to be replaced. It's not a major issue. Actually, the gold parts guy have has all of that on. Not a difficult thing to get hold of. The wings, you know, these were brand new wings. They're not difficult to get hold of. Half of this bumper section is going to be absolutely fine. This bumper section here, once again, is quite possible to get hold of. 
as well as actually replacing the parts that you're going to need to replace you'd need to repaint this car you see the bonnet's just gone into the scuttle panels here slightly slightly into the door here none of the doors are damaged but that's just where the car was pushed down into that stream i don't think it was driven into the stream so i don't think there's going to be major structural damage with the chassis i think the structural damage is purely going to be this section here which as i say it's not going to be too difficult to get hold of i've actually got that section on my parts car once again you can see you're going to need to repaint this possibly here as well you could probably just touch that up all these seals on this car are new all of these seals here these seals etc it's all pretty new the um, car's always performed amazingly well it has a beautiful mercedes clunk when you come to close the door um and i'm here just to take out a few things from the car like my pen for example and some things in the dash box here that I had in here my daughter's name in vinyl Grace the interior of this car's is okay and um, it's done in Zebrano wood and the Palomino I think is the the color combo this is all a seat thing that I put in from SJ and what they call not SJ Cook, SJS in Germany. Once again, all new seals down here. If you followed this channel, you know that all the front and rear subframe of this car have been taken out, all powder coated. They'll all be in excellent condition. All the engine mounts, control arm bolts, everything's been renewed. Exhaust is good on this car. Rear control arms, subframe. The um, rear diff has been taken out. New seals and that kind of stuff. There's no damage to the underside of this car at all. This light's probably a godder, although the bowl inside is fine. And all the seals are new on this car. This indicator on this side is fine as well. But those seals for these headlights are about 100 quid each. The light on this side, I don't think, I think is absolutely fine as well. Once again, it's got new seals, you'd need an indicator light. But these little eyebrows here are pretty expensive as well, they're fine. The car's got all new brakes and brake discs. All new seals in there, wheel, wheel, wheel bearings have all been done. I think it's got new calipers. It's not 100% perfect, this car it has had substantial welding done on it. But I do know it's not a rust bucket. The sills were never repaired properly, but as you can see, they're all pretty solid. There's so many valuable parts on this car. Anybody who's built one of these cars would know each and every little bit costs you know, this these pipes here is like hundreds of pounds these pipes here hundreds of pounds it'll make a great project for someone i don't know whether they plan to auction this car off as is or whether they'll break it i suspect they'll probably just break it which is a great shame because as i say most of this car is really solid and it is a beautiful five speed 280 sl back of this car has all been carpeted everything's in good condition never got around to gluing this seal here in that's not a big deal even the boot lights working on this car so this car is going to end up going to a place called the hills salvage up in lancashire and I don't know whether they'll attempt to auction this car off or whether they'll just break it for parts. I'm not sure about that yet. And here's what the Red Dragon looked like before those idiots stole it and wrecked it. It feels like I've just been dumped out of a great relationship against my will. But luckily I do still have my beautiful, long-suffering wife.